Hello everybody once again, this is Akua Kazoo. So I'm actually making this video to explain to you about the channel function because I think players have been asking me to do a video on it so players who play Dragon Ends will be more exposed to this channel function. So what exactly is a channel function? It is actually here after the 450 mark patch. So what can a channel do? Basically it's like their own private chat room. But if you realize if you try to PM someone, let's say if I try to PM this now, right? Hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five, S and Yep, see I get chat block right now. So but the thing about channel room is on it is the same as the guild chat, there is no chat block. You can see I'm spamming my guild chat right now. And basically there's no chat block. So right now Liz has created a channel. So you can actually participate in the channel by clicking this option here and then typing in the channel name. Oh let me see. So I've joined this channel called T Gaming. So it's made by Liz. So this one way you can join the channel. So once you're in the channel room, you can actually click on this tab. Look at the bottom left corner of the screen. The channel tab. And yep, that's Liz inside. And no chat block here as well. See, I'm spamming right now. T Gaming rocks. Yep. So. I mean, yeah, this is awesome. So what is it for? You can use it for raiding. Let's say if you are forming a SDN, you know, public party, you want all of them to be in one of the same chat room. I mean, you have the raid chat or the party chat that works as well. But I would say this color is a lot better than the bluish color for your seeing, I guess. And how about the other one? Okay, so the other functions of a channel is this. I'm going to show it to you. T Gaming Channel Join Password and we will see how many players actually come so the whole point is that you want people to join for what so let's say if you're selling a fd plate and you know you always spam on world chat like okay selling destruction plate with fd and the thing is you have so many people trying to pm you correct so what you can do is you make a channel name like t gaming tell people the password so let's say t gaming or FD plate selling join channel with this password and then you have all your potential buyers in the same channel so they can see each other as well so now you can see people joining the channel and yep hello everyone we are in a video we're just telling everybody to end their video so that's one good thing about the channel function so from here you can speak to everybody and Yep, you can have fun. So basically, let's say if you have friends from, like, say, Noobness and your friends in T Gaming, you want to talk to each other, you can perform a channel. So let's say if Pet or maybe you want to type in a password, you want to make a PvP channel, we can call it Greenwood Elite or something, like GWE, and then we set a password so all the PvP players can come in. So it's very useful. And I'm not too sure if there's a limit on the number of players in the channel. Oh, yes, there is. 100 players can join. So asking people to say hi. So I have 19 people in the channel now. And yep, so selling items will be one useful way to make use of the channel function. So people who are selling FD plates, that's that plates. Yeah, make a channel, tell people to come to your channel if you're selling them. It's better than, you know, like me at channel 3 and then you have a whole bunch of people saying, you know, telling you to, I mean, giving you prices. So it's good that you get them into a channel and then you can just discuss. So just telling them to say hi. <laughs> and yep, that's about it for the channel function. And so hopefully this video will let you know more about this channel function. You can set one without password, so mine has a password right now. And the other thing to note is that let's say if Liz leaves, correct? The guy that was here next. Or she, she can pass the lead to someone else. And let's say if the channel is empty and someone comes in, he'll be the leader. So yep, if you want to hijack a channel, there's one way to do it. Don't say I told you so. But yeah, channel function, very useful, make sure you make use of it. And I actually made a channel called Call Center previously and I actually throw on my Twitter. Like if you have any questions, can you join that channel? I think the password is 5252 as well. So yep, the channel is currently gone actually, but just FYI. So thanks for watching. Bye. Oops. <laughs> Bye guys.
Gets the first flinch and hammer strike, bits the contact zone, avoids that one, and teleports away to safety. Gets a 90 laser flinch, but no follow up from Snam himself. 84% HP left, and 80% HP left for Ghost Claw. Time stop is good on the finish attack, and we see a 15,000 comment for here. 